Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Advantage One RV today with the camper. It's 3,300 pounds. It's an awesome model for a solo or couples camper or potentially even small family or buddy hunting camper. It's it's a little box with a lot of punch. Like it's, it's a very flexible floor plan. It's basically like a baby version of a Cherokee 20 RDSE. It's got a bed in the front, a big U dinette in the back, and some big windows that make a small space not look and feel so small. And they really nailed a couple key elements on storage to, to have plenty enough to get you through the weekend. Um, they, uh, they must, well, we sold this to them a year or two ago. It kind of blends together after a little while. I don't remember it being in this nice of shape though. They went through really, uh, you know, did a nice job cleaning it up, gussing it up. They, uh, I believe upgraded to double propane tanks. Cause I don't recall a single axle hideout having, having those from the factory. And you might also notice next to my finger there, their hitching and anti sway bars are included with this. So sweet option if you're a first time RVer, there's stuff in here you're gonna want like the hitching, about $500 worth of hitching included with this that now you don't have to buy, but you still get, not all bad. Now what's cool about this camper is that it's small without always necessarily feeling small because they were able to incorporate into it some really big RV features. And these wraparound panoramic windows that open for airflow back here, they have the night privacy shades on them. These are like the whole living room arrangement on this is hands down the focal point of the trailer, I think. Everything else just kind of exists to serve the living room on this one, but uh, it, it, that's that's not a bad thing either. I mean, the this can fold down, by the way, that's what I call a true U dinette. It's like almost seven foot long. So that can actually be sized for an adult sleeper. Or you could pop the table out and just use it like a wide open lounge. Now, something I would do for less than $40 is I would take uh, five minutes with a screw gun. I would take the pedestal uh, and the mounts out of here. And I would just install on the bottom of that exact table right there a set of folding legs so I could free float that table around. Now, something that is not incredibly obvious at first glance you notice how it's not a full rear bench back there. Then you look at the decking that that's on. That's actually a removable rear bench. So if you don't want the U function, if you want a big, spacious, adult-sized two-bench dinette, you can do that here. It's very cool. Now, those two side fix benches actually have storage under them from the exterior, which is kind of cool. We've got all LED lighting in here. We're six and a half foot tall, which is going to be enough, generally speaking, to feel pretty comfortable walking around most of the time. But folks, it is just, uh, it, it is so spick and span in here. I, I can't find dust, cobwebs, anything. Like I said, they put just a couple little homey personal touches in there. Maybe took a trip to uh, like Hobby Lobby or something like that. I, oh man, I tell you what, if I ever wanted to go broke, uh, I wouldn't have to make bad investments. I could just uh, let my wife go loose and Hobby Lobby. Oh, I'd be broke in a heartbeat. But the thing is, <laughs> they got cute stuff, man. <laughs> <laughs> Cracking this open real quick just to give you a look there. Big overhead cabinet, surprising. And notice the dedicated uh, countertop space for prep area above the refrigerator there. And a couple drawers. Little campers like this, weirdly, very often have no drawer space. I like that instead of an open cabinet, they gave us a couple drawers. I think that's a very nice touch. I think that's a very underrated feature that a lot of people would uh, potentially miss. Now, if I switch benches to the other side real quick, what we're looking at over here is if you feel like adding a TV to it, the, the entertainment mounts in this, that's in a perfect position next to that uh, air conditioner right there so that no matter where you are wrapped around the dinette, you've got the perfect viewing angle and you've got a shelf over here if you wanted to set like a Blu-ray or DVD or something. And, oh, I forgot to open this uh, earlier, didn't I? Let me make sure I crack that open. Apologies. Usually I don't do live cabinet door openings like this, but hey, we're we're doing it live over here today. That's our pantry space. Because the one thing we haven't seen yet is a good dedicated pantry area, and this one has a good dedicated pantry area. Now, this is technically not a private bedroom, but this hallway space between the bathroom and the kitchen feels separated. It feels defined. It feels private, which is cool. Now, this closet over here is only here because of one thing, because this camper is a standard eight foot uh, body width. Most single axle trailers with floor plans like this, they're 
often only like a seven foot body. And I have seen the smaller single axle campers and the seven foot bodies try to do this floor plan and it always fails because it always feels a little too tight. This floor plan really only starts to work, I think personally, when you do start to get that eight foot body width. Now, something you might've noticed, the treatment uh, above the, the valence there, above that window, they must've like bumped it off a couple times. They just decided to leave it over here. Also on the bathroom door, they were, uh, they hung that big mirror so that they could, you know, see what they looked like before the neighbors did. <laughs> I don't care what it looked like when I'm camping. Uh, I, I'm wearing socks and sandals. I'm comfortable. Don't, don't mind me here. Uh, all the original owner's males. That's a, that's a good looking thing. I always try to find there. Obviously they added a little foam topper on this. The bathroom is simple, but effective. But what I like is it's also right by the door. Like I'm standing at the main entry door here with my little Adidas and right there you are. So you need to hop in and out, wash your hands, do your business. And what's nice, being a small camper like this, I could have seen them not putting a sink in here and saying, oh, you know, the kitchen sink's right next door. But now we don't have to wash our bathroom hands in the kitchen sink. And that is a full medicine cabinet, not just a mirror. Easy towing little box too. This little thing, uh, it's what, barely over 20 feet. It's 3,300 pounds dry on the nose. By the time you load it with cargo, like if you've got a say 5,500 pound tow rated SUV or something, this is gonna be a really good fit for you. You got one of those smaller class like Tacomas or Rangers or Colorados, this would be a really good pairing for you. Now, if you've got a 3,500 pound tow rating and this weighs 3,300 pounds empty, this is too big for you. I don't feel this is a good fit for somebody who has a 3,500 pound rating. I squirm uncomfortably for somebody who has a 4,000 pound rating. You also need to make sure that the vehicle you're using is compatible with load leveling anti-sway systems like you're seeing up front there just in front of the tongue that's included with the camper. Some unibody vehicles in this uh, towing range are, uh, you're not supposed to use those hitching systems. Basically, it stresses the unibody in a way it wasn't intended for. That's those extra little details that we like to give you to be, make sure that you're not making a, a mistake, you know? Well, the last thing we wanna see is you damaging your vehicle because of the camper that we sold you because we didn't share everything. That's just the kind of place we are. Now, I mentioned this at the beginning of the video. The, uh, this, I believe, originally had a single 20-pound propane tank. It looks to me like these folks upgraded to dual 30s and one of the other things that leads me to believe that is not just what I'm seeing, but the fact that it has this extra tall spire right here um, for the, uh, the, the the tank holder downer. <coughs> Te technical technical term, by the way. Don't laugh at me. Don't make fun of me. Um, <laughs> but uh, that, that looks like something maybe they got that little um, spiral bar from Home Depot, that rod right there, which there's nothing wrong with that. I don't, I, I, for some reason when I said Home Depot right there, it sounded like it had some stank on it, like I got issues with Home Depot. I don't, great place, I shop there all the time. But that's where that probably came from. Now you might've noticed it has that front pass-through and notice how it does have tinted windows. That's something you only get about half the time in this class. It does have a walkable roof, although it does not have a ladder. I just want to let you know that because not a lot of single, well, more, more have now than used to, but some, I'll say some single axle campers do not have walkable roofing. Sometimes when you see no ladder, you presume non-walkable roofing, but this is once again walkable. You see the Camco vent cover up there. The uh, tinted windows will help keep the camper cool and comfortable actually, which is kind of nice. Little wind gust kicked up out of nowhere. Where'd that come from? Now, both sides of the dinette from the outside have those handy little storage doors right there. Another thing I want to point out on this is that all four corners have stabilizer jacks. That is another one of those things that not all single axle campers do because this is a very price sensitive class. This is a very price sensitive series of camper, but it's like very much a function first kind of camper. This is basically the sister to the Springdales that we carried for years down at Halet RV. So, I, I mean, I, I know my way around the thing pretty darn well. Um, the uh, awning, by the way, something I wanna mention here. It looks the part, but it is not a power awning that is actually a quick manual crank out awning but it opens faster than a power awning is what's kind of funny now let's give you a sweep down the roof there um did the best i could just kind of holding things up there and giving you a look the roof membrane looks very healthy i don't see any areas where the sealant is drying out uh, especially that front termination strip uh, i got a really good look at that uh, with the camera stuck up there that looks terrific i don't see any problems on this camper the skin looks great the decals are not peeled and flaking and fading 
I got good vibes on this all the way around. If you're just looking for something small, like I said, you're looking for just you, or if you're looking for the two of you, or a small family, or maybe an occasional guest, or doing some buddy hunting camping, or some sisters on the fly, this is a very, very flexible floor plan. Now, if you like something like this, but you would prefer a walk around bed, I'm gonna leave you a couple links in the video description for you to check out a few options you might enjoy there. But overall, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with what I see. This thing looks terrific. So once again, thank you very much for joining us down here. Uh, if, if you need, well, I would say hitching, but the hitching's included with it. Uh, if you need financing, you got a trade, give us a call. We do all that kind of stuff for you. And if you appreciate the way that we go through these things for you, hit that subscribe button and follow along to our family owned and operated facility here. And we'd love to have you on a regular basis. Leave us some comments to let us know what you like, what you think, or what you might be looking for. And I'll see what I can scare up for you. And short of that, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo camping, everyone. A1. Have an A1 day, everyone. Gah!